Hey guys, it's Asgard Trooper 9 here back again for another video, and today I'm, I'm going to be coming out of you with a type of video that I haven't done in a long time, an in-depth brawler guide. As per the usual format, I'm going to be first going over his stats, then how to play him, and finish off with, uh, which, with what game modes are best for him, and some live gameplay of me playing um, this brawler. And we're going to be doing, this guide here is going to be doing, uh, is going to be um, a Poco, on Poco. And yeah, but before we start, if you want to uh, want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as only 15% of the people who watch my channel are subscribed. I'd really appreciate that if you guys could do that. But without further ado, let's get right into this guide. So to start off, Poco is a rare brawler that starts off with 4,000 health, but at level 10, that increases to 5,550. That puts him squarely in the middle compared to most brawlers. He's neither a tank, nor is he really squishy like um, Rico or Tick. His damage is one of the worst in the games, with, o um, with it only dealing 700 of each attack at level 1 and only 980 at level 10. Um, but so at level 10, with 3 full attacks, he only deals 8,820 damage. While Piper, for example, does 10,000 damage with three attacks. But then again, Poco is a support brawler, not a very aggro one. His attack range is seven tiles long, and it's also very wide, which makes it very hard to not hit a shot, which makes it good for auto aiming. His reload speed is average, um, starting to go into the um, slow end with it taking 1.6 seconds to reload a shot. His super is very good, but not in terms of damage, because the super heals instead of dealing damage, with an exception, but I'll get to that later on in this video. But in terms of its healing, it, it is one, if not the best um, brawler in the game that heals. It heals, um, like as it heals over 9, 2000, sorry, 2940 health at level 10. It also has a larger range compared to his attack at 9.33 tiles. Um, and to charge his super, you only hit, need to hit 5 shots. And that's really good considering his attack range and width. Now, onto his gadgets and star powers. His, his gadget is called Tuning Fork. And basically where, what it does, it starts to heal Poco and any, any teammates within a small radius by 500 health per seconds for 5 seconds. His two star powers are good in different situations, but I, I would say that Del Capo, his first one, is the better one. So, talking about Del Capo, it, what it does is basically when Poco has, Poco's attack hits the enemy, it heals 700 health to that teammate. And the good part part is, since Poco's attack pierces, so it goes through like objects, no walls, but it goes through like teammates and boxes, you can heal and attack the enemy at the same time. His other one is it's called Screeching Solo, which basically allows to you, you to be a bit more aggro as a Poco um, and super the enemy. Because when you have Screeching Solo activated, when you super, if any of any enemy brawler that is hit by your super, um, like it deals 800 damage to them. And another thing to note about Screeching Solo, if you want to hit enemies, do not auto fire it, as it will still if you use auto aim, it will still aim towards your teammates. But overall, like I said before, Del Capo is better in most situations, especially in 3v3s where you can use a double tank poco comp now on to how to play him so as i've said earlier poco is a support brawler because of that you want to play him like one what that means is you want to stay back and like do damage from afar using his wide and long attack to your advantage a good comp to play with is double tank poco i say that because poco especially with his del capo star power can continuously heal them and unless the other team is made up of tanks or other specific brawlers that do a lot of DPS, the other team won't have enough DPS to kill your tanks. So basically all you have to do is stay behind them, shoot um, at them and charge your super in the process. This way you can just change supers very easily. In summary, what you want to do with Poco is stay back, heal your teammates, chain your super, don't go aggro because you're going to die uh, because you don't have the DPS to kill people easily. Now onto which game modes are best for Poco. Okay, so as expected, Poco does best in 3v3 game modes. His best, I would say, is a gem grab and brawl ball. In gem grab, he is usually a gem carry, but can even be played as a lane on some maps in some specific comps. He stays in the mid and helps 
his lanes out with healing and hitting the enemy to make it easier for your lanes to kill them. In Brawl Ball, you almost exclusively play as a mid and you usually play with double tanks or even a jacking the M's. You want to use your Del Capo star power to heal them. You know, and also, the game mode Hot Zone, even though it has left the game at the time that I'm recording this video, was also very good for Poco, so if it ever comes back, know that Poco is a um, good brawler for that game. But game modes that you definitely want to stay away from playing him are Bounty, Heist, and Showdown. Bounty, because Poco doesn't have enough, like, DPS, um, but in Snake, Prairie, and Deeper, um, I forget the map, it's deep or something, but he might work with the correct comps in those because it has a lot of grass so he, you can play tanks and he can heal them with that double tank poco comp. And he's bad and nice for one, it should be very obvious reason, he does absolutely no damage. Poco's main attack is only, only does 980 per shot, that's nothing compared to what other brothers can do to that, can do to the safe. And that's bad not only for attacking the other team's safe, like I said before, but also for defending your own safe because you're usually going to be facing tanks. So do not, whatever you do, do not play Poco in Heist. And in Showdown, he's bad again because of his damage um, and like a bit because of itself. But he, if you really want to play him in Showdown, I would suggest playing him in Duo Showdown as he is kind of viable with specific teammates. And that's it for me talking and talking about him. Now let's hop into some live games with Poco. Hopping into our live games here with Poco. Um, we're going to be playing on Bouncing Diner and we're going to be playing with this Jean and this Nita. And since Jean is the better mid, I'm just going to be playing um, lane because there's no one really on this right lane here. They're all just bunched up in the middle. So I'm just going to use my gadget here to um, keep me alive here. So I, it can heal me. Uh, I tried to heal my my gene there. wasn't able to. Um, so we're pushing them back pretty well here. Um, I got hit there once. I'm just gonna heal my gene there. And I'm just gonna be staying here. Like they can't do. Oh, they killed me. <laughs> right as I was saying, they can't do much to me. They just kill me. Um, I don't know what exactly. Uh, our gene is doing um, but if we can get them close enough to us I'm just gonna use this so it can heal all my teammates I think our gene has the, the the star power where it does more damage okay um, I'm gonna have to fall back here to heal up oh no it has magic puffs Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be chilling here And then when they try to come back then that's when um, I Attack all of them and we're as you can see here. We're gonna be getting this game uh, pretty easily. It wasn't that hard But um, just we just the thing is I can die, but they cannot So yeah, um, we're just gonna get a really easy win here and let's see if they want to play with us again um yeah, let's see if they want to play with us again. Okay, the Gene wants to, so we're going to hop into another, uh, the last game here with Gene. With our Gene here, playing as Poco. And yeah, um, four people, three, come on, five, six. Okay, we, got, we, we found our game here. Okay, so we have a Piper. So we have three mids. <laughs> this is not good. We're, we're playing triple mid. Um, let's see how this is going to work out here. Um, this definitely isn't the best comp to be playing as Poco, but it'll work nonetheless, I think. Um, I was able to kill that Mortis there. Um, I feel like this Poco is AFK. Yeah, it's AFK. So we're doing pretty well here. We have complete control of mid. Um, hopefully only our Gene gets the gems okay um i don't need to push that we're, we're doing good here um i don't know where that mortis is so um yeah so i'm just gonna heal uh, my gene there 
The gene is there. I don't know what he's doing, looking for a pool or something. So we're able to get the gene there. Um, yeah, the, we just need to be careful of the mortis. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. This is not a good position for us. Oh no. Um, but our gene um, has eight power cubes. Um, so we're not in such a bad position. I'm going to go again onto that left lane there. And now I'm just going to heal them up. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, that was, that was an amazing play. <laughs> Mostly by luck, but that was still a really good play there by our Piper. The Mortis just dashed right into um, her bombs by her, uh, set by her super. So yeah, that's going to be a really easy game there. Um, and yeah. Um, as you can see, Poco's really dominating gem grab. Like, Poco's just extremely dominant um, in gem grab as a mid or even as a lane, as you saw there. Like, I was just playing mid, uh, lane all the, like, those two of the, both of those games. And I still did decent. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this Poco guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. And also, don't forget to follow me on, on Omelette Arcade, where I try to stream almost every day. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.